Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use Google's new Veo3 generative AI model for video. That wasn't quite the prompt I wrote, but I'm gonna edit my prompt to try again. I'll walk through the interface and try out some weird prompts to see what it generates. Still not exactly what I was asking for, but close, third time's a charm. Subscribe to How To Do It All for more how-to videos. Okay, I give up. Veo3 is Google's third generation generative AI model for video and includes dialogue, audio, and sound effects in the AI video. I'm using a Google AI Ultra subscription, which gives you full access to Veo3 and includes a long list of Google services. Here's how to use it in the Google Gemini interface. To access Gemini, log into your Google account, select the menu, and then select Gemini. If you have an Ultra subscription, you will see Ultra in the top right corner next to your avatar. At the bottom of the Gemini interface is the Ask Gemini prompt window. Hover over the icon that says Video and you'll see the words Generate with Veo 3. Simply click on the video button and it will turn blue. The text in the prompt window will change from saying Ask Gemini to now read Describe your video. And you can begin to craft your video prompt for Veo 3. Okay, so I'm gonna write a prompt in real time just to show you how to use Veo3 in the Gemini interface. So first you go to new chat, and then I'm gonna click on video and describe my video. So since this is seen at, I'm gonna generate a video of a man skipping laptops across a lake like you're skipping rocks. Just see what it comes up with. So I'm gonna hit return, and now it's gonna generate my video. It's saying it's gonna take two to three minutes. Some of the other videos I did which had the voiceover included took about five minutes. Now I know that my prompt was not super articulate or descriptive, so I've just kind of put in one sentence to see what it does. There's my video, I'm gonna click play. <laughs> so he's not really throwing them like a Frisbee, like you would skip a rock across a leg. He's just kind of tossing them and then they're bouncing off the water. <laughs> so let's go back and look at my first prompt to generate the intro of this video. In order to make your AI character speak with a voiceover, you need to prompt Gemini to use a synchronized lip sync voiceover, and then add your script for the AI to read. You'll need to do the same if you're adding dialogue narration, or if you want a specific sound design element. You also have some cinematic control of the scene, and in this case, I requested a medium close-up shot with the spaceship and an alien planet in the background. So as you can see, the man didn't fly up in the air, so I edited my prompt in my second try to make it more clear that I wanted the man to fly up into the air and out of the frame, but it still didn't quite get it right. And there was a crossfade to a wider shot of the desk where you see the legs of a bird flying up to the ceiling. For some reason, Veo3 also included some closed captions on the screen, which were clearly misspelled. On my third attempt, I tried to edit my prompt to be even more clear, but as you can see, the man never quite flew up into the air. There were more transition effects in the video, and he has a book in front of him, which I did not write into the prompt. Each video generation took about three to five minutes to generate, which is a bit longer than OpenAI's Sora video generator. Each video was encoded as a 16 by 9, 1280 by 720 video file with a length of eight seconds, with a file size under two megabytes. Your videos appear in a simple video player interface with a play and pause button, a mute button with no volume control, and a download button at the top right corner. There's also a Veo watermark in the bottom right corner of the screen. Outside the video player are buttons to let Google know if it was a good or bad response, and a button to redo the video if you weren't happy with the result. Next to redo are options to share your video, listen to Gemini's response, or report a legal issue. To find a past video generation, you can select it from the list of conversations on the left-hand side of the interface, and if you click on the files in the chat button on the top right, it will display all the video generations in that feed. I was not able to find a folder where all my video generations were stored, so it's probably best to properly name your Gemini chats to be able to find them easier. And let me know in the comments if you know of any shortcuts to more easily find your past video generations in Veo3. So that's how to use Veo3 in Google AI Ultra in a nutshell. Now I didn't get into Google Flow, which is designed more for video creatives and has tools for helping to build a story narrative or using frames from your previous AI video generations to help maintain the video's aesthetic and environments. 
Google Flow is available in your Google Labs group of AI tools and has a bit more flexibility. Flow includes options to choose a different VAO model as well as choosing the number of outputs per prompt and a visual filing system for easily finding past AI videos. I'll produce a how-to video all about using Google Flow for storytelling in the near future. VAO3 is being integrated into other Google products like Google's Cloud Vertex AI for developers, and there are third-party platforms using the API to produce new applications that really dig into the power of VAO3. So let's try one more video generation in Google Flow to create the outro for this video. Okay, so I put in my prompt. I'm gonna have the frog read to the camera and say, like and subscribe for more how-to videos from how to do it all. And thanks for watching.